I could use my platform to scream from the rooftops and say, look, I'm a music artist, take me seriously now. I think the best way to let people know that I'm serious about it is them just listening to the music and judging for themselves. And that's what's happened. So I, I, I think everyone's support obviously is, is massive, but particularly at the start, um, I, I have to say Crep because he, he, he did that. I showed him the song to ask him his opinion at the start when I first wrote it. And he was super gassed about it. And then two weeks after that, he put out a tweet saying, how his jaw dropped when you listen to this guy from Love Island's track, blah, blah, blah. And that really sort of got people curious, I think. And people were sort of um, toying with the idea that it was me and this, that, and the other. And, and then st stuff just started going going crazy from there. And then I did loads of sessions. And he's, he called me yesterday and he was talking to me about the track and saying congratulations. So. His ongoing support has been amazing and he was the catalyst to this whole thing, I think. No, he didn't come back with a verse in 10 minutes. He went for a 10 minute drive. I showed him the song. His reaction was insane. He was bouncing around the room saying his head spun. And then he went on a 10 minute drive to think, just, just sort of process what the hell he's just listened to. But I, think he, I think he was a bit shook. He, was, he didn't really understand what the hell was going on. And then he came back and he was just like, yo, where's send me the blank, send me a blank 16 on the verse. And he's going to write something to it. And then by that afternoon, he'd write something. It was done. So music has always been what I've wanted to do. Like, and I'm not just saying that. You can look on my Instagram. When I was three years old, I got a karaoke. Four years old, I got another karaoke. Five years old, guess what? I got another karaoke. Then I got a guitar. Then I got a drum set. Like, I've always been musically inclined. Um, it was never really my goal growing up. I didn't want to just go on Love Island. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? That was never the goal. People are sometimes asking me like, oh, so when did you decide you wanted to go from Love Island to music? It's like, like I aspired to be on Love Island. I was just asked and I went on it. But um, music's always been the goal. I've just never had the, being honest, I've never had the confidence to sort of approach it and really throw myself at it. And doing Love Island and being in front of the camera so much over these past two and a half years has, has given me that confidence to, to be basically just showcase my musical side and just and just and just go for it so i have no regrets on going any of the shows that i've done or doing anything i've done because it's enabled me to do what i'm doing now no absolutely not no one no one's uh, there's no inspiration from the from the villa it's all my own personal experiences or my own aspirations there's, there's loads of things in there i don't want to ruin it for you guys you, you've got to wait for them to come wait for them to come out but trust me i'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information <laughs> sitting on some really good tracks listen to the music i don't have to say anything to them like it's, there's, this is a thing i could use my platform to scream from the rooftops and say look i'm a music artist take me seriously now i didn't want to do that the, the, my only promo has ever been since the song has come out. I never promoted it before. I never said I was doing this, that, and the other. I just let people know I'm dabbling in music. But I think the best way to let people know that I'm serious about it is them just listening to the music and judging for themselves. And that's what's happened. So, like, I could have come out and said, oh, I'm a music artist. Please listen to this music, blah, 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 blah. And people are like, okay, cool. Like, that's great. But then if the music's terrible, it's, it just loses all, its, all of its validity. So I just thought, you know what? let's just make the best songs I can possibly do and then let people hear them and they can be the judge whether they're a music artist and the response that we've had has been overwhelmingly positive and people are taking it serious and, the, and but I was expecting people I, I, I was aiming for people to give me the reaction that they are when they're saying like oh I was confused I was confused bopping to the song like <laughs> people are bobbing the head like why do I like this and I'm expecting that because people there's a stigma surrounding with reality tv and people trying to force things and go into different and into different industries and I, I don't think this is forced at all this has been completely natural for me um I've worked my ass off so um yeah hopefully that shows the music and people can take it serious and consistency for me now is, is the key going forward I've just got to keep going banger after banger now well I'm, I'm sat on nearly 30 songs so I've, I've done loads and loads and loads over lockdown over this past six, seven months, eight months, well, past year, really. I've done loads and loads of songs and there's even more demos than, than them songs. So I've got loads and loads that I'm working on. And I've even got my, my studio stuff with me, sat with me right now, my mic and everything's... Um, I'm just constantly churning out new music and 
I just want to release some singles, just let people know, give people some different flavors, and then maybe EP, and then long term, potentially something else.